Hi everyone, so I am in Paris as you can tell from the different location and tonight I'm going to movies with my boyfriend and I haven't done my hair yet and I'm going to do them the usual way, just curling and a lot of you guys have asked me how I do my hair, what I use for curling it so I will show you now what I do uh, for heat protection I always use my Schwarzkopf Garden Angel heat protectant spray. I just spray all over my hair, brush it through and make sure that the hair is not wet at all. Then for traveling I don't take hot rollers. I just take the curling wand by Babyliss also. And it comes with like this kind of glove for not burning your fingers. And this uh, heating wand heating curling one has 23 heat um, settings so I usually choose 21 not like completely not the highest heat setting but still really hot and you press this one this button and when the light becomes green you know that it's hot and it also comes with this kind of pad to you know for putting the curling wand on not to burn any like surfaces so I split my hair in the two halves and then I take small sections like make sure I have a s central parting you know you can part your hair the way you want to but I take a section about this big, I take a brush, brush it through, take the wand, place it like down the top of the wand, just looking down, and I'm just wrapping my hair around it. Oh, I forgot to put the glove on. And I keep it like that for about 25 seconds. It's about five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now just release the curl and the curl looks like this. And after you can brush through to make the curls more loose, not that you know, structured and I do this throughout the whole hair it takes me about 10 minutes to curl my whole hair 10 to 15 minutes when I do it without filming And the bigger sections you take, the um, the looser the curls are going to be. It's always harder to do it on the here, on the back, because you don't see the here. And I like my front sections to be more curled. Like I want to see the curls on, so I usually grab a tiny front section and curl it once again so one half of the hair is done so you can see the difference so it's just my natural dried hair and here's the curled part
But if you have a um, really thick hair, I guess you need to use the highest heating set, uh, set or or just keep it for longer for I know some girls keep it for one minute which is really long but if you have very unruly and um, like thick hair it can take you longer to curl them because my hair is really really fine I don't need that to you know keep the wand really long about 25 seconds I, I usually tend to keep it even longer like 30 seconds you know depends on the curl I'm going for If you, when you curl, you see some loser sections, you can just grab them and curl them again. Or at the very ends of the hair, sometimes, you know, the ends are too straight, they're not nice. You can just wrap them around, uh, keep for a bit. And you have nice curled ends. So that's how the hair looks. I'm gonna show you what I do for the last like finishing steps. So to finish the look, you can use any kind of like hair oil or like a shine, shine oil, shine spray on your hair. But what I'm gonna use today is I just depotted it. It's my bedhead, TG bedhead, um, after party cream. I think like this and it's uh, smoothing the frizzing cream that gives shine to the hair as well so I just run my fingers through the hair I try not to comb it with my fingers too much not to lose the curls so it makes the hair just smoother which I really like and then I take the Garnier Fructis hairspray and I spray it just to set the hair stud so the curls look like this from the front like this from the back and I really like this hairstyle because it takes so little time. It's really, really quick. And yeah, it just makes you look well put together. So that's it. Hope you guys liked it and see you soon.